Please welcome Lindsay Davis. <laughs> So, Lindsay, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So, lady, you were up all night for Super Tuesday. Sure was. And you're going to be flying to L.A. this weekend because you are covering the Oscars. Yes. Uh, so you got both worlds. Yes. And State of the Union tomorrow. <laughs> you got the State of the Union tomorrow. How are you handling doing both the entertainment, the State of oh, the Union? Oh, my Lord. It is a lot. But I actually welcome the Oscars. It's kind of a brush of fresh, fresh air. I'm always doing, like, murdered and missing and mayhem. So I'll take the glitz and the glamour and, you know, the movie stars for a day. <laughs> it's just a nice kind of break where, where nothing is too consequential. The world's on fire, you know? Yes. So it's, it's nice to, to just go and, and do the red carpet for a little bit. No, I hear you now I know you've been covering the Oscars for six hours straight this weekend okay that's what you're gonna be doing six hours straight I, I remember doing the red carpet covering it and we were like it was like an hour okay <laughs> six hours how it, it, what tips have you given yourself for surviving the red carpet that long these are tips that I advise for no one okay. it just <laughs> it, it works for me People always say stay hydrated. I kind of yeah. do the opposite because you know these dresses. You can't go to the you bathroom. You cannot go to the bathroom. Like, you sure can. It is, it is a whole thing. And you're on the red carpet. There right. is no bathroom right. near you. And I'm doing it for six hours, so it's kind of like you, they're gonna say, okay, you have a 30 second bathroom break. By the time I get this dress, you know, uh, one cool. zip, zip you know, down. Yes. Too, so I'm not gonna really hydrate, but. I'm a sugar person. I really have a sweet tooth. Okay. So I have some Snickers and gummy bears. The Snickers and, and gummy bears. be good. Okay, so you Legal gonna... gummy bears, legal gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that's yeah, actually right, a good right. one. That might that, be that's good. a good one. <laughs> You better watch those gummy bears, girl. You can't be, you can't be like <laughs> talking to Idris Elba and you got gummy That's jelly right. all in your teeth. Right. I gotta check it. And then you gotta do the breath mints too, because since you're not getting the water to hydrate it, Very you gotta pop the breath mints in. That is <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, congratulations. You are, this Sunday will be the 11th wedding anniversary yes. for you and your husband, Paul. Yes. Yes. So, Paul, I love this 11 years. So is Paul gonna join you on a trip to LA? I feel so bad about it. First of all, I didn't realize at the time that the Oscars was falling on our anniversary. He oh. realized it first, so he was like, oh, well, you're gonna be in LA, do you want me to come with you? And I was like, it really wouldn't be fun. You know, I have to do Good Morning America, it's three hours early, I'd be waking up at like three in the morning, yes. you know? So he's not coming. And, and so it was funny, because somebody was asking me the other day, so what are you gonna do for your anniversary? And I was like, what are we gonna do for our yeah, anniversary? Yeah, in 11 years, like, what do you do for your anniversary? You know, we you went away, we did go away last year for 10. That okay. really did feel like, you know, but every year is to be celebrated because yes. marriage is not easy. Okay? I know. Yes. But, uh, uh, so it is, um, we need to make a plan. He did ask me, he was like, well, let's go to dinner when you go back. But we need to do something beyond yeah, dinner. You gotta do something, even if after the Oscars, even if you like have a signal where you like, you know, do something with your dress. I, I'm gonna, oh. you're a jerk, you're a hard hitting journalist. So you can't be like me and like yeah. pull a dress like, down for the, for the camera. <laughs> you can't do anything like that. But you gotta do something I'll do with some it. Some kind of wink, some kind of something. <laughs> something yes. for, that he, right, where he yeah. knows it's for Tug him. Tug on it or something. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But you know, it's so funny because you're this hard hitting journalist. You, you cover everything. You are you are known for asking all of the hard hitting mm. questions. So how do you when you get home to your husband? Do you ever have? Do you turn it off or does it stay? I need to turn it off, and this will okay. be like my therapy session, really. Yeah, because I'll sit and listen uh, to you. I, what, <laughs> what I understand about me now and the news industry in general, because even after Super Tuesday, people were still emailing producers at like one, two o'clock in the morning. So you just was responding to stop. Like, right, it, and there is an expectation that you're going to respond. Right, right, and so when I text my husband, and then I'm calling him five minutes later, like, did you get my text? And he's like, yes. I'm going to respond. You just sent it five minutes ago. And so I am really like, uh, uh, uh. And so I know I'm kind of a nag. I got to work on it, Sherry. But see, it's going to get better. Even <laughs> like the, when you're talking to me, it's like, I know I have to respond and I have to oh. do this. And when I got to, so when you get home, are you like, hey, babe? Like, what, what, is, what does that look like? When I get home, I'm kind of like, ugh. You Girl. Know, just like for a minute. You, you know, too tired. I, we gonna have to wake I you am up. Tired. <laughs> I know. I, I I need something. Okay. I need, I need All right. Something. Well, you got the. Okay. So you got Aiden. You got your son who yes. is turning ten years old. Yes. Ten years old. Aiden is. I have to ask you. 
Can you believe, it goes so fast. Can you believe that you already hitting the double digits? Everybody says it goes so fast and you hear them and you believe it, but it goes it so goes fast. fast. And here's my question. I know Jeffrey is 18. Yes. When did it start for you that he was like, no, you can't kiss me in public. No, we can't hold hands. No, mom, like, get away. It literally started in his teenage years. Because I'm already, he... I'm already there. Yes, he's 10 years old and he won't let you, he, so you can't kiss him? Not in the... public. Not in public. And, or, uh... and even when I do it at home, if I do it like too many times, he's like, mom, that's enough, you oh, know? My... And the one thing I will sad. say, Lindsay, is they come back around. Oh, they do that come is back good. around. So they boomerang. Yeah, okay. they do boomerang. Like, they want to know that you're there, but they don't want you there. Yeah. So, but they will come back around and start nuzzling that neck again. They will. That you know? makes me feel good. Because I'm kind of like, come on. It, it actually makes me want to, like, kiss him more, which is really, <laughs> you know, annoying for him. But, um, yeah, and he's kind of, like, embarrassed of, of me in front of his friends. Yeah. There's a whole thing. <laughs> well, but he's going to come back. He will come back around, know this, and they will love you. So, you know, because you're, you like the queen bee in their life. So they need that, <laughs> they need that support, okay? <laughs> Yes. Now, I know, because, you, you know, you've written your sixth book, and you like to connect with your son through your books. So you got the new one, which I'm very excited about, because I have a lot of nieces, girls of the world. So yes. doing more than ever before. Get, what, what do you want your son to learn from this book? I want him, he is always talking about, like, that's for girls. Like, mm -hmm. he has a separation. And Sherry, let me tell you, like, maybe two weekends ago, I, I said, you know, you always want waffles, because he's like, you know, I make... On the weekend mornings, I do it up. I have world famous French toast. I do it up. And he'd be like, well, where are the eggs? You know, he wants like yes. more, right? So the other day I said, you know, you like waffles. That's easy. Let me show you how to make it. And he was like, mom, that's for women to do. I said, mm -hmm. no, like when you get older, like you're going to yeah, have, you he said, my wife is going to do that. Oh, girl. Oh. Right? <laughs> and so he needs this book. He needs it much. <laughs> Very, you know, a lot of people think it is for girls. And it really is, is as far as inspiring young girls to know who they are, what they're capable of doing. But I think yeah. it's just important for their counterparts, those little boys, those young men, as they're Absolutely. growing up to realize, yes, girls can do it too, if not better, by the way. I always tell Lindsay, I always tell Jeffrey, I make him do everything because I say, you're not going to get with a woman. And then she goes, what did your mama teach you? <laughs> that's like, right. you, that, that's, that's right. a reflection yes. on us you as mothers. You are right. So I'm so glad that you wrote this book. And I have a bunch of nieces that I want to give this book to because it's so important. What would you say to women? I just want to say this quickly. Doing what you do in the position that you're in, what would you say to a, a, a woman who wants to just, like, take that risk? They don't know what to do. Do it. You know what? Yeah. Even when I first was thinking about writing a, a children's book, I was talking to a friend of mine, and I said, yeah, I've been thinking about doing it. He said, well, then write the book. Just... We were at dinner, and that next day, I sat down at a computer and started writing the book. It had been something that I had been thinking about doing for two years. Really? And I just hadn't taken the steps. And it's just like, at a certain point, you can't talk about it. Just be about it. Just do it. I love it. Lindsay, thank you so much for being here. You gotta come yeah. back. Oh, I'd love to. You're too to. close to us. I want you to pick up a copy of Girls of the World in stores now. We're gonna have a good time.